This dog is by no means suitable for newcomers. This dog became very famous in World War II. It is very agile and active. He is very loyal and brave. Today I want to give you comprehensive information about this dog. So stay with me until the end of this video. Hello animal lovers. Welcome to the Animal World channel. To support my channel, be sure to click the subscribe button and activate the bell to stay up to date with the latest videos. Once upon a time, in the late 19th century, a tax collector named Carl Friedrich Louis Doberman lived in the town of Apolda in the Thuringia region of Germany. His job was to collect money or taxes, and he faced many dangers due to a large number of bandits present in the area. Since Mr. Doberman also collected dogs in addition to his main job, he was looking for a dog so that he could take good care of him. Doberman began breeding dogs to find a loyal companion and a full-fledged protector. The results of Mr. Doberman's experiments are the current Doberman Pincher dogs. Breeders believe that this breed is a combination of many breeds, including German Pincher, Boseron, Rottweiler, Black Greyhound Manchester Terrier and Old German Shepherd Dog The exact combination of the breeds used is unknown today. The only surviving evidence indicates a combination of the Greyhound and Manchester Terrier. It is also widely believed that the Doberman gene pool stems from the Old German Shepherd. To learn more about Doberman's history, a book called The Doberman Pincher by Philip Grunig has been published, which includes information on how the breed originated. During World War I, the number of Dobermans in Europe declined sharply because of famine and the inability to care for large dogs. Meanwhile, the remaining Doberman dogs were recruited by military units, police and capitalists. During World War II, the Doberman breed was once again endangered in Germany. So much so that many believe that if this breed had not been brought to the United States years ago, there would be no Doberman dogs today. The popularity of this breed gradually increased and became famous in World War II. They were used as guardians and messengers. In the mid-1900s, the Germans removed the word pincher from the breed, and a few years later, the British did the same. They weigh between 30 and 40 kilograms in males and the same in females. Their height is between 66 and 71 centimeters in males and between 61 and 66 centimeters in females. In general, male Dobermans are slightly larger than females. This breed is medium in size and has a lot of muscle strength. This breed is beautiful, colorful, and agile. The eyes of this breed are almond-shaped and have broad cheeks. Its prominent, muscular shoulders attract attention. Its ears are pointed and its body is rectangular in shape. The head of this breed is triangular in shape and has a solid, muscular, and strong body. The eyes of this breed are from light brown to dark brown in black, red, gray, and fawn. An incredibly intelligent and extremely energetic dog. The Doberman is inherently a guard dog that never withholds any help from its family. Although Doberman dogs will by no means be aggressive without reason and logic. It is interesting to know that Doberman will grow up a little late. It will still behave like a puppy until the age of three or four. Doberman dogs, like any other dog, need to be socialized. So you have to put him in different situations from the beginning to experience new sounds and events. Socializing will help your dog behave well in the future. Doberman dogs live an average of 13 years. The Doberman is a powerful and energetic dog. If you are planning to buy this dog but do not have enough time to take care of this dog, it is better to ignore this purchase and look for domestic and small domestic dogs. Know that Doberman is an active dog and must have enough activities daily to have a healthy body and mind. Breeders have been able to reduce the dog's predatory trait, making the modern Doberman a more trainable and calm dog. Today's Doberman is the ideal dog to keep at home. This race may be known among the people with stereotypes such as being aggressive. 
The breed traits make the Doberman a good dog for protection, police and war dog. There are generally two types of Doberman in the world. American Doberman and European Doberman. European Dobermans have larger, more muscular, wider breasts, darker eyes, and larger bones. But American Dobermans are smaller, thinner, have fewer muscles, have longer, narrower heads, and have a longer snout. European Dobermans are known as working dogs and are braver, calmer, and more alert. American Dobermans are less commonly known as working dogs. This species was created to perform and is more social and kind, dignified and beautiful, and loves family but has less courage. Let's look at some of Doberman's positive points. 1. A loyal and self-sacrificing dog. 2. Hair of this breed is easy to maintain. 3. There is in this dog not much hair loss. 4. This breed is a wonderful guard dog. 5. Doberman pinchers are very smart and if their owner is experienced in dog training, they are very easy to train. 6. They are good dogs for active people and athletes because they have high energy. Let's look at some of Doberman's negative points. 1. It is not a good choice for those who have not kept a dog. 2. Not a good choice for families with very young children under 5 years old. 3. Their need for physical activity is very high. 4. Some Doberman pincher dogs get rough after a while and get into trouble. 5. They may be aggressive towards dogs and other animals. 6. Dobermans are sensitive to loud noises. Doberman dogs are generally in good health, but like all breeds, they are prone to many diseases. Therefore, knowing the types of these diseases can help you maintain your Doberman dog's health, including wobbler syndrome, albinism, blowing, and more. Thank you for being with me until the end of this video.